welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today we are going to be walking through how I made this black and white mosaic geode. Now this is the third week of competitions in July. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, then check out the Facebook group. It is linked in the description box below and I cannot wait to see you over there and see what you submit to win the Abstract Boss Award. All right, without further ado, let's get started. This project was done on cradle board that I got from Walmart. I taped the edges and then primed the wood with two layers of gesso. I started off by using acrylic paint to adhere the glass stones to the wood. Um, and then I sprinkled glitter to stick to any of the remaining acrylic paint. Uh, it did not work very well. Um, I, I think I just kind of took too long trying to put all the stones together. And so I did have to go back through with glitter ornament adhesive that I got from Michael's around Christmas time. I chose that because it's a very, very, very watery adhesive. So it's very easy to get into the cracks of all of these stones. And then I just sprinkled the glitter again. For the pour, I'm using Pinata Black Alcohol Ink charcoal black epoxy pigment from Maspring, white paste from Colorberry, counterculture DIY resin, onyx glitter, and plain 91% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle to create great cells. I also have this great mixer so my hands aren't always hurting when I mix the resin. It also helps reduce the bubbles while mixing and I will do a video on that later once I get back from vacation. Last but not least, don't forget your heat essentials like a heat gun and a blowtorch. Now that the epoxy is all mixed up, I'm going to pour it in my plastic cups with the whites and blacks and save a little bit of clear to go right down the middle on top of the rocks and glitter to make sure they're all fully sealed to the wood. I start off by laying out my first lines of white and black and then getting the alcohol ink to lay right along the white and blow outwards. If you need a slower breakdown of this method, I do have a newer video that I released here that shows the technique of alcohol inks right on top of resin. Now I'm alternating the glitter, then black and white to fill up the rest of the wood.
I add a few more black rocks to separate the onyx glitter from the white line since the fine glitters are very prone to floating and making the white look a little funny, especially since this is an almost black glitter. So it kind of just looks like the white is speckled dirty and so I really wanted to make sure that I sort of broke that apart. This is going to help keep that from happening. So then I just add more lines, blend some colors together, and then last but not least, spray some alcohol right on top. So I'm going to fast forward you guys through this process. Next, I decided to let my son be the videographer and record me taking off the tape. Here's a fun, quick recording of that. I do warn you, it is a little shaky, um, so bear with me. But I just thought it was super cute to encourage something as awesome as a new talent for him. And he seemed to enjoy it. So maybe you'll see more of that here on my channel. It's recording. I want you to move it around however you see fit to watch me take off the tape from this art piece, okay? No, you're gonna edit the whole screen. Oh, careful, don't shake it around a lot. You try to keep it super still, okay? But you can right. go closer. Can I end it? No. You can go closer. You can get down at a lower angle. I want you to play around with it as I'm taking this off. You gotta do it while I'm doing this, kiddo. I am. Look, they cannot see me take the tape off. There you go. The whole idea is to record the action. This is the action. Just try not to shake so much. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Let me know what you think of this amazing geode, which I will be listing on my Etsy as soon as I'm back from vacation. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. I can't wait to see what you create with black and white tinted epoxy for the challenge this week. I'll see you next time, everyone. Have an amazing week.